This video will introduce you to the classroom content settings in the new Gmetrics classroom feature. Classroom content settings can be accessed by going to your classrooms tab and clicking content. Now that we've added our content, let's look at some of our content settings. You do have your default settings here. Notice that everything is turned on. You have the start date, which is the date your students will be able to first see the content. If you hover over the information buttons, it will also give you information. Then you have your end date, and your end date is going to be the last date that your students will be able to see content. For your default settings, I do suggest that you put it at the at least a week out from the last day of school. I'm going to go ahead and choose July 1st for mine. You can set the max number of tests that your students are able to take. I'm going to put mine at 10 there. The max is 100. You can allow the students so that they can only see certain exams in testing mode or training mode. The way we have it on now, they can see practice exam one, two, three in all of the practice exams in testing and training mode. I'm gonna leave that on in my default settings. You also have the option of the question review, which permits students to review missed questions without changing the score in testing mode. I'll show you what that looks like. Once a student finishes a test in testing mode, they're given their score report. If the question review button is checked in the admin panel, there will be a button that says review missed questions. That will allow them to review missed questions without changing the score in testing mode. If that button is unchecked, there will be no button on the score report. If the study guide button is unchecked in the admin panel, then students will not have the option to utilize the study guide in their dashboard. If they are not able to use a study guide, they will miss out on the opportunity to track their proficiency, to track the date that they will do the certification exam, as well as being able to utilize a study guide for remediation and focusing on their development areas. Once you have chosen your default settings, be sure to click the Save button. So we've chosen our default settings and our students are able to see all of our content between 8-16-23 and 7-1-24. What we can also do is have content level settings where we can determine the dates on individual practice exams. So if we go to Word 1 practice exam, we are able to have the start date of 816 or we can change it to 818 and then we will have an end date or a due date of 820. Now the due date that you put on this, the students will be able to see in the student panel on their dashboard once they go to the program it will show them the date you have chosen for that assignment to be due once you select your due date you can also change the max attempts on that specific assignment so instead of giving them 100 attempts you can take them down to 10 attempts five attempts three attempts one attempt you can allow them to be able to review as well as you can have it in training mode or testing mode. If you select so they can only do it in testing mode, once the student goes to the assignment in the student dashboard, they will only see one mode. They will not have a choice of training or testing. All they will have to do is click start test. But once you have your settings for this individual piece of content, you want to make sure to click save. Then you can move to the next piece of content and you can choose the dates for that one. I'm going to change this one so that it will be available for students to view on the 21st and they can have until the 23rd in order to complete it. Now, if you find that your plans change and you need to adjust the start date and the due date, you are able to come back over and adjust those dates. Be sure once you do any adjustments within the dates that you choose save. Again, whenever you're changing your content level settings, be sure to click that save button. You can go back to the default settings by clicking default settings. 
If you have added content that you do not want your students to be able to have or you like to remove, it's easy as clicking the trash can and remove. If you decide that you want it back in there, just choose add content, search for the content that you'd like to add and choose the save button. Congratulations, you now have the tools and information that you need to update your classroom content settings in your Gmetrics classroom.